Merci, Yann. Euh, bonjour. Thank you. And uh, good morning to all. I'm very happy to be here on behalf of the Association des Archivistes du Québec. To begin with, I'd like to propose three conditions that seem essential to defining the new model of managing our archives here in Canada. The first condition is to understand the raison d'etre of the model. In my opinion, the basis for the new model, its raison d'etre, should be the archives themselves, mainly because they're unique and irreplaceable, but also because archives are not only historical documents maintained by archives, they are everywhere and they're essential to the day-to-day -day functioning of society. And therefore, the importance of archives have to be at the core of our reflection. Everything can be challenged today except the importance of archives. In terms of needs to satisfy three concerns, archivists, centers, and users. Archivists are the experts, the leaders of management. They play an essential role in the integrated management of documents and governance as they are stewards of the institutional memory, recorded memory. We have to put in place the means by which the professionals will be able to maintain these records in a professional manner. Centers, archive centers also have specific needs. They have the resources and the conditions to enhance and display these records. All centers, be they small, medium, or large, have to be entertained in our reflections. The users also have various needs based on, based on the type of use they have whether they're genealogists, professors, students, journalists, creators, citizens, or others. Satisfying the needs of the users starts with satisfying the needs of the archivists and the centers. The second condition is to develop a strategy that would be shared by all the network's partners. It is absolutely urgent that the archival system have a national strategy for archive management. Everywhere in Canada, there are impressive numbers of collections that have not been addressed and therefore are not accessible by citizens through internet or in person. Archivists and archive centers want to meet the needs of Canadians and want to improve online resources. In the same manner, collectively, we'll have to look for solutions to ensure the sustainability of archives in unique formats. Archivists have to be the instigators, the stewards of digitized records. Other important issue, digitization. It is, of course, something that has to be used to its greatest extent possible by our community. A while ago, it was a risk for conservation. Today, it has become an urgent matter. Obviously, archive centers do not currently have sufficient funding or resources to meet this new need. In order to better display archives and make them more accessible through digitization, we will have to look at all means possible, including public-private partnerships. These projects will have to be well laid out and will have to be realized through clear objectives. We have to guarantee the preservation of the archives, make sure more documents are accessible and at a lower cost. And moreover, it seems to me that the savings thus realized should be reinvested in order to, to meet more needs. And we'll have to make sure this is the case. In order to reach those or attain those objectives, the strategy will have to make sure digitization is a priority. Third condition, creating a 
proper plan for sharing resources. We need to regroup our strengths and create a functional partnership. Regardless of the type of network we create, we'll have to find a way to make sure communication is maintained between national institutions, centers, and users. We'll have to make sure that the network's leader remains the, lead, remains the network and not a partner within that network. Needless to remind you that our community needs resources to meet its mandate. In order to meet these needs, we need financial support, financial support that will be used for projects in the centers. We'll have to find a way together to put the train back on the rails. Library and Archives Canada has a responsibility within the Canadian network. I think we all agree, but Library and Archive Canada is not the only player in the network. In a network, every partner has to rely on the strengths of the other partners. In order for the network to, to in fact, work, everyone must contribute. Everybody must inspire and contribute to the network has to listen to his partners, support them, and help them through expertise and resources. The archival community cannot wait, however, for solutions that would come from LAC. In a context of change influenced by the digitize, digitization challenge, all centers and partners have to rethink their models, define new models in order to make sure that resources are properly shared and applied throughout the network. In conclusion, I will provide you with three recommendations in order to feed our discussions today. And I'm sure many more conversations will follow in the coming weeks and months. Firstly, concrete measures have to be taken by the Canadian government in order to enhance the archives, their centers, and the users by way of true partnerships. Secondly, that we create a financial support system that would be sufficient to support and encourage archives to acquire, maintain, and communicate records through online resources, amongst other ways. This is part of the report that was published by the Association des Archivistes du Québec uh, through the um, Royal Society of Canada consultations. Thirdly, that all the partners in the network work together to create a national archival strategy. Library and Archives Canada, the Canadian Council for Archives, the provincial and territorial network, all partners have to agree on communal values. These values will be the basis for the strategy. The strategy will be used in order to have a, a procurement strategy and make sure that we have concrete plans and projects that meet the needs of our partners and respect our values. Thank you very much for your attention, and I wish you all a great summit.